Hi, my name is David Graham. I'm the Greene County Auditor and I've been asked to speak about property taxes. This question deals with effective tax rates and how they uh, are, are determined and how they affect property taxes. So the easiest way to explain this is to pretend for a moment that there's only one property in Bellbrook Sugar Creek School District or any other taxing subdivision and that a two mil levy is passed and the only value, the only property in that district is appraised at $100,000. So that two mil levy would generate $70 per year. So I come along and I do my statutory duty and I reappraise that property and I increase that property's value from $100,000 to $150,000. Instead of generating additional money because this was a reappraisal change, the tax rate will be reduced, creating an effective tax rate of 1.7 mils. That 1.7 mil reduction in the effective tax rate when applied to the additional value or the, the new total value would still generate that same $70 per year. If instead we were to look at a situation where that $100,000 property had an addition placed on it and had new construction, which increased the property value from $100,000 to $150,000, there would be no change in that tax rate, and that levy would then generate $105 per year. The idea behind this is that as new construction occurs, government has to provide more services and therefore needs additional tax revenue. In contrast, if I come along and reappraise a property, it doesn't mean it costs more to provide services, so there is no revenue increase on voted rates when I come along and do my statutory duty and reappraise properties and values increase. The same occurs if properties were to decrease and if you were to have looked back at valuations from uh, 2008 till 2011, you would have seen a very similar where effective tax rates would have gone up as values decreased. Mm -hmm.